we get to talk about my favorite subject here today, and that is CM Punk. What would Observer Live be without getting to talk about CM Punk? This from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. CM Punk says he's apologized to Tony Khan for the AW All Out Media Scrum and regrets how he handled the situation. Punk revealed the news in a much-anticipated ESPN interview released on Friday, told Mark Ramondi that he was frustrated at the time of the scrum and, quote, just didn't approach it in the right manner. The first thing I said to Tony when I sat down with him and spoke to him after it was, man, I'm really sorry I put you in that position. I apologize for the scrum, but when you've watched that scrum, you're looking at a very, very frustrated guy who had told people that's not the first time he heard all that. It's not the first time lawyers were told all that. And I was just looking for something to be done, and nothing got done. So if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. And I just did not approach it in the right manner. But tension was high. I was very, very pissed. I pretty much knew that I had just injured myself again. I was hurt. I was disappointed. Yeah, it's very easy for me to say I regret that, and I handled it the wrong way 100%. Regarding the physical confrontation after the scrum, Punk said that everyone is trying to move past what happened that night. However, he would say that he does not think it was as big of a deal as it's been made out to be. He noted similar situations occur from time to time amongst teammates and major sporting leagues as well. I don't think what happened was a big deal, he said. This has happened in the last 10 months in hockey, in basketball, in baseball, in just about every sport. And it's covered and it's gone the next day. I think because I've injured my tricep, I've been out for so long, I think it has been exasper- exas- exacerbated. I think it's been, oh, he says it again, exacerbated, exacerbated by people. It's been blown out of proportion, damn it, by people spreading lies about the whole thing. And when in reality, my attitude is, well, S happens. He addressed the Hangman Page promo on the May 25 edition of Dynamite as well. He said that he and Page spoke backstage before the segment about what they would say, but Page strayed from what they agreed on. When Punk questioned him about it afterwards, he said Page told him he said what he did because Punk had attempted to get Colt Cabana fired from the company. Ramondi wrote, Punk told ESPN he has no relationship with Cabana, but that he never asked Khan to take Cabana's or anyone else's job. But others in the company, including the elite, believe Punk did indeed do that, per sources. Punk continued to say that Page going off script led to them, quote, having a garbage match at the pay-per-view. I proceeded to have what I think is a garbage match because I'm trying to protect myself on stuff instead of actually just working and trying to put on the best performance that I can. I'm keeping an eye out. He chopped me in the mouth one time. I'm like, okay, did you do that on purpose? You chipped my tooth, and I'm like, all right, should I give him a receipt? It changes the dynamic. It poisoned everything for me. It made it all really, really ugly, and that was what set all of this off. And here we are over a year later, and ain't S been done about it. Punk continued to say he's attempted to speak with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks regarding what happened. However, he told ESPN that after attempting to contact them, he received, quote, messages from lawyers saying, quote, do not contact this person. He has also been told that using the real-life situation as part of an angle on television is not going to happen. Punk expressed frustration at being labeled, quote, the bad guy regarding the situation and says he's just been trying to defend himself. He said people in the AW locker room leaking reports to the wrestling media have contributed to the drama. Now we all got to roll in the effing mud, and that never should have happened and has never been course-corrected, Punk said. So I understand people want to say, oh, man, Punk is a jerk. Well, yeah, because I'm defending myself. I will always defend myself. I'm open to having a full-blown effing sit-down powwow discussion with everybody about it, but it hasn't happened yet, and it's not because of my lack of trying. Punk makes his long-awaited return to the ring on Saturday, main event, etc., etc. And then he talks more about Saturday. He says, y'all haven't seen me since I won the belt. I'm coming back. Tune in to find out exactly what I have to say. I'm picking up right where I left off. So that's the, uh, that's the main quotes. And uh, today, everyone's talking about it. And, you know, there's a lot that they're talking about. And one of the things is people being upset at the, quote, wrestling media, which is like being mad at the regular media, because uh, they didn't get what they thought that they were going to get. And what I can tell everybody is 
I don't know what anybody else said about this, but I said one thing about this. And what I said about this was there's an interview coming out on ESPN on Friday, and it's gotten some people very upset in the AEW locker room. That's what I said. And do you know what happened? Well, what happened was a lot of people were very upset in the locker room. Now, some people have looked at this and said, well, what has everybody got to be so upset about? What are they so mad about? Well, there's there's two things here. And one of them, one of them, I don't I don't even care about. There was a lot said in this interview that did not end up in print. And it's like that with every interview anyone's ever done. What was said that did not end up in print? I don't know. I've heard people talk about certain things, but I didn't see it. And at the end of the day, you know, I don't care. Like, whatever he said that didn't end up in the interview is irrelevant. It didn't end up in the interview. It's not something that needs to be talked about. It did not get printed, okay? But what did not end up in the interview did make people angry. Then what is it? And here's the thing. Here's the other thing. Because forget forget what was not printed. Let's talk about what was printed. Because I've had a lot of people say, well, you know, why would anybody be mad about this? Okay? And I want to make this clear. Because, oh, he's choosing sides again. Listen, there's some stuff in this interview that I think Punk was, like, spot on about. And the biggest is him talking about how he apologized to Tony Khan for the scrum. Okay? Because you know what? At the end of the day, and I've said this from day one, forget the fight ever happened, okay? Let's imagine that we live in a timeline where there was never a fight. It never happened. Nobody went to the locker room. Nobody punched anybody. Nobody threw a chair. Nobody. Just pretend none of that ever happened. That scrum was a disaster. It was a disaster. A guy sat there. And completely, totally eviscerated the company while the owner of the company sat there looking like he was a hostage. That made this company look like such a rinky-dink promotion. And, man, you should have heard the things that people said about Tony Khan just sitting there letting this all go down. That, forget everything else, that was a disaster. So, sitting down and apologizing for that, Saying that that was the wrong thing to do, that's great, because it was, okay? Now, the thing with, with people getting upset about this interview, I may have to go into the next segment with this thing oh, right God. here. Oh, God. The thing with people getting upset about this, everybody, is it's just like everybody listening to this right now and everybody on Twitter and everybody in the chat, okay? If you like CM Punk... And you're a friend of CM Punk, you're not going to see anything wrong with any of this. If you are friends with the Hangman, if you're friends with the Young Bucks, there's a lot here that you're really not going to be happy about. And I don't know why that confuses people. Hangman is a really well-liked guy. Everybody loves the Hangman. Everybody loves the Young Bucks. So there's a lot of people in the locker room that really like those guys. And so when CM Punk comes out and says... You know, I didn't think it was a big deal that there was a backstage fight. It happens all the time. That made a lot of people really upset. Because I don't even want to do an analogy because people are going to blow this totally out of proportion. But you mean, you know you know Vinny, right? Well-liked guy. Everybody likes Vinny. He's way more likable than me. Well, Vinny once got carjacked, okay? Nobody got hurt, okay? Nobody got killed. Someone just stole his car. And then they crashed the car, and they got arrested. And they went to court, okay? If this guy went to court and he goes, eh, who cares about a carjacking? People get carjacked every day. I don't think it's a very big deal. You People think Vinny's friends day, are going to go, you think Vinny's friends are going to go, hey, the guy's right. There are carjackings every day. I don't know what Vinny's so mad about. You'd be all right. No, Vinny's friends would be upset that a guy said that. Vinny's friends and family, like his oh, wife, boy. I mean, they'd be mad. So a guy going, eh, it's no big deal. You know, we had a wild brawl. There was biting and chair throwing and everything. It happens all the time. Yeah, you know, people can get upset about that, you know. It's possible. And Granny, did you know that in the room right now is an Emmy Award winner? I know. I want to congratulate wow. you, Sean. Thank you. The only one here who's ever achieved anything of value. 
Nice work, Shane. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Let's see this big gold Emmy. Wow, look oh, at that, everybody. Oh, Holy wow. smokes. That qualifies. That's Prefer to hold it by thing. the bottom to it as well. Let's get a picture for the front page. Yeah, you want it. <laughs> <laughs>